Hey everybody, Gary with Basecamp Trading. Let's take a look at the little nuances that make one trend reversal breakout different than another. You can see that in gold right here, we're making higher, higher highs, higher low, higher high, higher low, higher high, higher low, higher high. Now this is just a one bar pullback that that's not a pivot. You need at least three bars on each side to be considered a pivot. This is just a one bar pullback. We had a higher high and then we put in a pivot right here. It's not a lower pivot low because our previous pivot low was actually back here. This was our previous pivot low, but it's a pivot. And then we come up, we put in a lower pivot high and then we break out to a lower pivot low, changing our trend to a downtrend. We get a nice follow through. What makes this one better than some is see where the breakout occurred. The breakout occurred on the right side of the smooth 50 and the right side of the cloud. We know that the smooth 50 and the cloud often will be support and resistance lines. And so we don't want to be taking a breakout into the smooth 50 and into the cloud because we know the probabilities of that working out are less. Doesn't mean that they don't work out because sometimes they do. We just know the probabilities are less. This is a good trend reversal breakout to the downside and got a nice big move to the downside. I mean, that, that breakout occurred below 1748.70 and that ran all the way down to 1734 and lower. I mean, that really headed down there. In fact, he went as low as, uh, what was that, 1728.30. So um, a nice trend reversal breakout to the downside in gold. Here's an example of one that we don't like to take crude oil we were heading down we had a lower low then we put in a pivot it wasn't a higher pivot higher previous pivot high was all the way back here and then we put in a higher low and then we broke out to the upside but right into the cloud and into the smooth 50 and you can see we found resistance right there it ended up reversing and heading back down again so this is not as good a probability breakout because again we know the cloud and the smooth 50 often are resistance or support areas so we don't want to take the breakout into that and you can see this is why that did not work out very well sometimes they're not quite as well defined as that this is actually a trend reversal breakout in the ES you can see we had a lower low and then we had kind of a equal highs right here and then but they're not higher highs they're kind of equal highs and then we put in a higher low and then broke out to a higher high so it's not and this is kind of sloppy you know you got a little double top here pivot and then a higher pivot low and then we broke to a higher pivot high so Sometimes they're not quite as well defined as other times, but that ended up working out nicely. Again, the breakout is on the right side of the cloud, right side of the moving averages, and this is also a resistance break, resistance break of a double top right there. But you can see that that was a much higher probability setup and got a much higher probability result. So as you can see, you know, there's just little nuances that do make one trend reversal breakout different than another.